Hello and welcome to another GCN training session. This time you're joined by myself, Connor Dunn, and I'm taking you through a 30 minute session. Now this is a great one to squeeze in. If you're a bit short on time, focusing on some sweet spot efforts. I'm gonna explain what that is shortly, but first I'm gonna introduce our guests. We've got Maddie, Liam, George, and Cam at the back there. We're motivating these riders here to push themselves to their limits and you all at home too. We're gonna to have a cracking session. Thanks for joining along as always. Love to hear all your comments on the GCN training channel underneath each video. Glad you're all enjoying the sessions. I'm looking forward to sharing another one with you now. We're gonna just start off with our warm up, getting into things. A minute and a half at the moment, two out of 10, nice and easy. Just getting ourselves into it. I'm gonna talk you through this warm up before we get into the meat of the session and we really start working hard. 30 minutes, but it is gonna fly by. Hang on to your handlebars. I would say hang on to your helmet, but you're probably indoors in your trainer and you're not wearing one. 50 seconds to go. And sweaty. 30 seconds to go, two out of 10 on the effort level. When I say that, I'm talking about our GCN training perceived effort scale, one out of 10. That's like the easiest you can do, two out of 10. Obviously a little bit harder going all the way up to 10 out of 10. That is like hardest you can go. You're in the Sahara Desert. You've just done 10 hours of threshold from your last legs. And you could, that's it basically. <laughs> the red zone. Three seconds to go, then we're just gonna notch things up a little bit more. So three out of 10, gradually increasing the tempo, bringing ourselves up to speed. 10 out of 10 is a rare, a rare one on the channel. I think um, I would compare it to trying to follow James Lousy Williams. 40% gradient climb when he's had 10 coffees. Something I wouldn't advise or wish on anyone. But we do love our Hank. Three out of 10 then, keep the legs turning. Got about a minute and 20 to go at this, this effort level now. Now this session is all kind of designed around sweet spot efforts. So you may have heard of sweet spot before. It's just a notch down from your threshold. So it's something that you can probably sit at and sustain theoretically for quite a long period of time. Just sort of nudging into that slightly annoying pain in your legs. But you're not gonna reach that fatigue point. You're not gonna feel that kind of burning sensation in your legs build up to the point when you have to slow your effort down. So we're pushing on. And it's normally something you do over a longer period of time. We've only got 30 minutes today, so I'm gonna kind of introduce it to you gradually. We're gonna try and sit at that intensity level for shorter periods, just so you get used to what it feels like. We're gonna start off with a three minute block, one minute rest, and that three minute block is gonna repeat. It's gonna get gradually shorter as the session progresses. So if you are starting to find the intensity tough, it's gonna last a little less time. 15 seconds to go. Up things again. Start to get the heart rate going in this warm up. Three, two, one. Right then, six out of 10 for a minute. Come on, everyone here in the GCN training dungeon. Let's push on. Get the most of this warm up. Up, 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 up. This isn't a holiday camp, people. Come on, Maddie. Up, 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 up. Liam, good work there. A robotic style, like the Terminator on the bike. Some say he has fish and chips for breakfast with a whole bottle of vinegar. Six out of 10, come on people. Push, push, push. Of course, if you like vinegar on your chips, I'm with you there. 15 seconds to go, six out of 10. Just getting the heart rate up. Preparing ourselves for what's to come. Three, two, one. 
And up it again. Another minute. Come on. Up the gears. Push, push, push. Seven out of ten. I'm going to have a bit of recovery after this one. And then we're getting into the bones of the session. The focus point. The piece de resistance. As they say in France. Keep on pushing always. Pays off to get a good warm up in. If you're jumping on the bike quickly, maybe you've had a busy day or you're just getting out of bed, trying to cram a session in before you head off somewhere. You sometimes do feel a bit rubbish in your warm up. Don't let that put you off. So that's what it's all about warming you up, getting you up to speed. Have a bit of rest now, and you'd be surprised how your legs can change in terms of sensation once you have that recovery after warm up and you start into the real main part of the session. But we're going to knock it back a bit now. Three out of ten. For two minutes. And we're going to do our first sweet spot effort. Now for anyone who's done sweet spot before, try and match that same intensity level. That's seven out of ten. So anyone who hasn't done it before, Imagine you're setting off on your bike and you ride as hard as you can for like an hour. And you're trying to pace yourself for an hour as hard as you can. That is a sort of intensity level we're looking at here. But we're only going to do it for about three minutes. So you're not doing this three minutes absolutely flat out. You're just trying to sit at that pace. Just a bit harder than what would be nice to just kind of ride along and hold a conversation with. You're pushing, you're a bit out of breath. And if you do have a little chat, you kind of have to catch your breath afterwards. If that makes sense. It is a great one though, because you get a lot of bang for your buck and you recover quicker than if you're really pushing yourself hard. So you can kind of almost get as many of these sort of efforts in a ride as you can. Without too much recovery afterwards, make sure to keep drinking in this session. A super hot day here close to GCN Training HQ. Getting the fluids in, always advise getting some electrolytes, bit of drink mix going. Sometimes drinking water, you're just not gonna replace those salts and electrolytes that you're using through your sweat. And it'll creep up on you quick, especially when you're on a static bike. You do a lot of sweating, and sometimes you don't realize it either. Only 30 minutes long but there'll be a puddle of sweat underneath you by the end. Right then, five seconds to go, and then we're gonna get into it. Here we go, come on everyone, three minutes, seven out of 10. Three minutes, seven out of 10. Just find that rhythm. Imagine you've just set off a sort of time trial effort. You're trying to ride to work, maybe 30k, as hard as you can, and you're just pacing that effort throughout the 30k. This is that sort of effort you're sitting at. Start to feel the heart rate rise now. How are we doing over there, Maddie? How is this feeling? How was the legs today? Yeah, legs are feeling really good. They felt a bit sloppy in the warm-up, but after the warm-up, they're raring to go. Raring to go like a, like a rabbit just nosing its head out of its burrow in the morning. Yeah, exactly like that. Just felt the wind and bosh! <laughs> good stuff, Maddie. Liam looking as robotic as ever. Like Mikhail Indurain at his peak. One minute 45 to go. Come on, everyone. Keep it up. Good work, Cammy and George at the back there. Dig deep. I'm going to be doing a sweat puddle test at the end of this session. No prisoners. And I'll be giving you all your individual reports based on that sweat test. So, no hiding. Plenty of videos on GCN Training Channel. You can follow along, jump on your bike, get a fun workout in, push yourself hard, perfect for those winter months when the nights draw in. Can't head out on the road as much, or maybe 
got a bike set up on the train and it's a bit easier to jump on, get a quick session done. So do check them out. Varying sort of effort levels, lengths, and intensities. There's something for everyone, presented by a whole host of different presenters here at GCN. Do check them out. Let us know in the comments what you're looking for more of. And how are you getting on with this one? We've got 30 seconds to go, this first sweet spot effort, seven out of 10. Keep it going to the end. Come on. Squeeze that lemon. Get every last drop of juice out. You're making that delicious lemonade. Five, four, three, two, one. And we got a bit of recovery. Shake out the legs. Woo. Stretch it out, minute recovery. One out of 10, nice and easy. Get those liquids on board. Perfect opportunity for this. Try not to let the legs stop for too long. I'm gonna try and keep moving them. Try not to just sit down and do nothing for the minute. So it will feel pretty tough when you're going again. But that is the first one done. Maddie, are we still raring to go over there? Yeah, I think that one felt really good. I really like sweet sport efforts because you're not going flat out and you can kind of just keep going but they're really efficient effort. You get a lot out of it. Exactly, and I think they're perfect if you're not in the mood to really kind of push yourself hard. You can jump on, do this, still get a really good workout but you're not absolutely cooked by the end of it. Talking of which, we've got another one to go now. Three minutes again, here we go. Into the big ring. Into the dinner plate. Up in the intensity. Sort of session which is great for boosting your fitness. No matter what your aims are. Are you thinking of taking on your first gravel race? Maybe you're looking to do a long ride, maybe past the 100 mile mark for the first time in one go. Or perhaps you're just looking to get to work a bit faster or school in the morning. I rode here to the GCN training HQ this morning, nice day. And I was feeling okay and it's nice to try and have that fitness to be able to jump on your bike and, and get somewhere without being too out of breath. So if that's your aim as well, then great. But as always, you have to put the work in. Let us know as well below where you are riding from. What's your setup like at home? Always love to hear from you all where you're riding around the world. Coming up to the halfway mark now though in this sweet spot. Three minute effort, seven out of 10. <clears throat> Keep on pushing Liam. So it's hard to know whether he's pushing or not. It's just too easy, like a knife through butter. Good work, Maddie. One minute 15, come on everyone, keep pushing. Up the leg speed if you can. Starting to sweat now. Starting to feel the effort, but push on. Inside a minute to go. Come on, everyone. Hop, up, 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 up. Try, right, give me a best. Dig in now. Don't change down those gears. Stick in what you're in. Let's finish it off strong. The pack is chasing us. We're late for work. There is a thunderstorm approaching. Stay in that gear. Hold strong. Push on. Push, push, push. Inside 30 minutes to go. And we are coming into harbour. Come on, everyone. 15 seconds to go. 10 seconds, come on. Keep pushing. Good work, Maddie, good work, Liam. Cameron George at the back. 
Great stuff. And take it easy now. A bit of recovery. We've got a minute. Ease off those pedals. Shake out the legs. Plenty of fluids on board. You'll be surprised just how much you have to drink when you're doing a session indoors on the bike. Especially if it's a bit hot outside. Get your fan running. Helps to cool you off, but it also blows away the sweat. So you don't quite realize how hot you're getting or how much you're sweating either. So do make sure that you're definitely topping up those liquids. Because we're gonna be back on the workhorse now. We're coming up to five seconds to go. Another sweet spot if we're getting gear. And here we go. Three minutes, seven out of 10. 100 RPM, up in the leg speed, come on. It's gonna be a bit uncomfortable, 100 RPM. You wanna head on a little slower. It's your revolutions per minute, the amount of times one foot does one whole revolution. Follow along with my speed at home. If you haven't got a device to measure your cadence, your revolutions per minute, I'm using my head unit here. And that is coming from set cranks that I've got fitted. Power pedals, measuring every single revolution. And also getting plenty of data, the effort and power I'm putting out. Good work, everyone. Maddie, still holding strong? Yeah, definitely. Feeling really good. <laughs> Have you got any goals coming up, training for? What's um, your aims? Maybe a couple at the end of the season, but just looking forward to getting through it all and having a bit of time off, to be honest. Bit cooked. Well, a nice session like this, 30 minutes, always good just for keeping the body ticking. Yeah, these are really good at the end of the season. When you don't want to go out and bash long hours, you've got the endurance behind you, you just need to do a little bit of effort. Yeah, exactly, like sharpening the pencil before a day at art class. I think that's a good analogy, is it? Yeah, I reckon so. <laughs> what would you be drawing, Maddie? That's the question. Um, Probably a bike. A bike? <laughs> I always yeah. like to draw an apple. Oh yeah. But I think that's just me, I like food. <laughs> anyway, we are digressing here, minute 20 to go. Keep it at it. As you can see, I can just about hold the conversation, but taxes me. Minute to go. Come on, everyone. A bit more rest after this one. Hundred RPM. Keep the legs spinning. Thirty seconds to go. It's our last three-minute duration. And we'll be keeping at the same intensity level, but it's going to be a bit shorter. Good work, Liam, Cammy, George. Keep on smashing it. All right, everyone, ease off at home. We've got a minute recovery. One out of 10, nice and easy. Woo! Definitely feeling it now. That's three in the bag, three, three minutes. Solid bit of work done. Start to feel the legs now. Next one's gonna be a bit shorter. Make the most of this minute. I said before, keep drinking. I'm already through a bottle. I'm like a camel, stocking up for a trek. 26 seconds to go. A camel or a giraffe, I'm not quite sure. Maybe a tall camel. 10 seconds to go. Here we go. Three, two, 
one, into the dinner plate. There's up, 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 two minutes. Come on, everyone. Seven out of 10. Looking to make the most of this session. And get in what you can. I'm training for a big climb in a couple of weeks, heading to Outdoors and the Galibier. Gonna make a film for GCM Plus, which you'll be able to watch soon. How you doing over there, Maddie? Yeah, I'm getting really <coughs> sweaty now. Getting really hot at the back end of these efforts. This is where it starts the bike in the session, but we're through the bulk of it now. Yeah. So let's make it count, let's back it up. Only nine minutes to go, so we've been flying through it, 21 minutes. Cracking work, everyone. Cracking work at home. Keep at it. Stay with me. Come on. Finish this one off strong. You can do it. Come on. This is where you have to dig in, believe. Keep on with that pace. Keep that intensity going as before. 40 seconds to go. Come on. Hold it. Ale, 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 ale. Vai, 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 vai. Go, 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 go. As I say in the English language. 15 seconds, come on everyone. Cracking through it, come on. Finish strong. Inside 10 seconds to go. Okay, and back it off again. We've got another minute recovery. Even saw a bead of sweat dripping from Liam's brow there, just shakes it off like a champion. He's got the instincts, you can tell. <laughs> Silent assassin in the GCN training HQ. Right, 30 seconds and we're getting into another effort. Making sure Liam's going to be suitably tired so he doesn't half wheel me home. Okay, everyone, let's do it. Stay focused. Last few efforts now. Another two minutes, and we've got much shorter ones. To finish off the session. Into the big ring already. Thinking about the gear. And here we go. Come on. Two minutes. Seven out of ten. Come on. Up, 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 up. Turn that corner, we've hit the headwind. Long stretch of road, dig down. If you want to think about your position on the bike, try and complete the effort. Practicing getting low at the front, tucking your head in out of the wind. Indoor training session is great for working on the fitness. Also a really safe place to practice getting low on the drops. Thinking about your body position on the bike as well. Great place to kind of get used to your position too and make any minor adjustments on the fly and jump off when you have a longer bit of recovery and just make small, small changes, adjusting saddle heights if you need to. Always beneficial to work on your effort whilst getting low at the front. It's good to put down the power, but if you can put down the power, it's being as aerodynamic as possible, that's gonna mean Traveling faster when you head out on the road. Perfect opportunity to practice that on the old static trainer. We're using the Swift Hub here today. Making sure that our guests get a big puddle of sweat under their bikes. 30 seconds to go. Come on everyone, finish strong, 100 RPM. Come on, everyone. And five seconds. 
There we go. Mini recovery. Spin out the legs. Woo! Shake them out. Keep your body moving. Get that saddle. Stretch around if you need to. Do what Maddie's doing now. Sit. Sit up, hands off the bars. I'd love to do that, but I'm too tall for the room that we're in. It's another added problem of being a tall camel. We're getting through it. I'm gonna finish off now, two 30 second efforts, same intensity. You shouldn't be too, too in the box, you shouldn't be too fatigued. You should just feel like you've had a nice good workout. But you're not on your last legs. That's not what this session's all about. It's getting that sweat going, getting the heart rate up, but also being able to maybe ride on or do another session tomorrow. Right, here we go, 30 seconds. Seven out of 10. Come on, everyone. 100 RPM, same intensity, just up in it again, that's it. In the saddle, 20 seconds to go, get at the front if you can. In that head, it's all about tucking your head in into your shoulders like a turtle. And ease off, another minute easy. Our right, last 30 second effort. I'm gonna just gradually bring things down, bit of a cool down. You are done, you are through another GCN training session. Come on, stay with me now, folks. And then here we go in 30 seconds. Get ready for it. If you do want to push on a bit harder, then go for it. Last 30 second effort. at the prescribed intensity though, at the same intensity I've been doing these previous efforts at. In three, two, one, and here we go. Push, 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 seven out of 10. Up, 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 up. Good job everyone, last 10 seconds. Come on, keep the pace up the, up the leg speed. Maddie, if you can, up the cadence. 100 RPM, five, four, three, two, one. And there you go, cracking job everyone. Two minutes cool down now, one out of 10. Nice sip of water, liquid on board. Thank you so much for joining that session. Absolute pleasure to share it with you. I'm gonna just gradually bring things down now. One out of 10, spin the legs out. Stretch yourself out. And pat yourself on the back, because that is a solid 30 minute session in the bank, in the legs. Crack on with your day now. Feel good about yourself. Got that heart rate up. Got that training in the legs. You definitely feel that. But also, you know, you're not, in, you're not super fatigued now. You can still feel like you can ride on if you wanted to, or maybe do a harder session tomorrow. Let us know in the comments what you thought of it, where you're riding from. Always love to hear from you all. Thanks so much for joining us on this one. And also thanks to our guests here for riding along, getting stuck in, Maddie, Liam, Cam and George at the back. Looking like they've had a suitable workout, just checking everyone's got puddles of sweat underneath. They have, even Liam, the silent destroyer. Big thanks, Maddie. Smooth on the pedals. If you did enjoy this one, please give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to GCN Training Channel. You'll be notified when we upload a new session because we've always got them coming. Always got something new for you to try. And it's great to hear you all following along at home. Big thanks though for joining us on this one. Keep the legs ticking over.